a viewer wrote in and wanted to know what she should do about a situation with a friend. This is a good friend, but the friend is asking her for a really big favor, and that is to take care of her cat while she's on vacation for like two weeks. That's a big responsibility, especially if you're not a cat person. Now, I'm just assuming that if you already have a cat and you know the routine, maybe it's not as big a deal, but our viewer is not a cat person, has no idea how to take care of a cat. I mean, there's taking the cat out and there's feeding and bathing and all that. I'm not a cat person either, so I'm not exactly sure what is involved, but I know it's, it's a living thing, so it's a responsibility. And what I'm gathering from the email that she sent was that she's feeling guilted about it, that this friend is kind of sulky and kind of would not take too kindly to her saying no. But that's the very reason you've got to say no. Because look, if you say yes to this and you clearly don't want to do it, aren't comfortable doing it or anything, if you say yes to this and you're dreading it and you do it, then she's got you. She can ask you anything because she knows that you're not going to say no because you don't like it when she sulks and you need this friend for whatever reason. But I'm telling you, you really don't need this friend. This is not a friend you need because I can guarantee it. If you needed a favor, where would she be? Probably nowhere. Probably sorry I'm busy. So that's what you need to do. Sorry, I'm really busy. I can't give your cat the full attention and I'm so worried that your cat is going to be deprived. Say it somehow. Somehow you want to say it. doesn't matter. Basically, bottom line, you're too busy. You can't do it. No. No means no. Do not. Do not buckle on this one. Don't do it. I'm telling you, you'll regret it.